In this tutorial, we're going to model uh, this uh, long extended chair. I'm going to show you how to uh, use these planes to, to get uh, this desired geometry and the easiest way to, to approach this project. So let's, let's start. Uh, so I'm just going to drag this, this reference image just to have it here on my uh, working area. Uh, so we don't have the actual top view, but we can use uh, the existing images for for references. So I'm going to uh, copy this and I'm going to cut it here because I want to use this part only uh, for the side view. So I'm going to put it there and I'm going to rotate it. like so and then I might also use the, the back I'm just trimming now the areas that I don't need so I'm going to use this as a guide to to know more or less uh, where my chair will stand and how it will uh, behave later on when I when I make some geometry so let's say that yeah this is not quite good yet we need to make it the same more or less so I'm just trying to get it as close as possible to show reference here so that we have some dimensions that are working with each other. I think this will do for now. Uh, so I'm just going to use this on the side. Uh, and let's just cut this so it's completely clean. I prefer to work with clean geometry always like so so in order to start uh, working at this we're going to use this plane plane and we're just going to go with the default and later I will change it before that I'm just going to quickly uh, change uh, the transparency of this uh, uh, so that I can uh, see what I'm doing here and I'm going to log this and this so this is my t-spline I'm going to go to the side view and now I'm just going to uh, go step by step So since this is a side view that is not completely uh, completely straight, I know that this will be straight, so I'm not going to change the angle here. Uh, I'm just going to use this as a reference to get this angle and this line here. So I'm going to remove the creases first, and then I'm going to start from these two uh, going up. So I'm going to use uh, extrude command and then I'm going to just go to the side view and extrude this up like so I'm going to use extrude again and go this way now again like so this so I'm just pressing extrude and then going up. This way we have this nice, uh, this nice uh, angle there. You'll see that when I go to the uh, to the smooth mode. Now I'm just going to 
finish up here with creating my basic base geometry okay so this will be my profile when I click shift I get this line so now I see what what are some of the things that we need to modify so I'm going to modify it here like so if I see that I miss some of the control points or that I don't have enough control points I can always add some by by using uh, add edge command so for example here I see that I need sharper angle so I'm going to go to the, to the mode for the edges and then I'm going to add another edge by clicking here like so I'm going to do this uh, for the bottom part as well so that we have sharper edge that we need like so so uh, now once I have the sharp edge I can actually modify it the way I want I'm going to move this up so that I have better reference of the angle maybe come even closer okay so something like this uh, that's close enough so then uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually and I want to extend these more like so then I can move these edges like so so that I have uh, more geometry to work with later on okay uh, let me see okay so this needs to be a little bit needs to be at least in the same angle like so so once once you're in this subdivision mode then you cannot see like the actual angle so oftentimes it's better to go to the this low poly mod to see the actual geometry better okay okay so the next thing is to actually create a symmetry modifier uh, before doing that I'm going to I'm going to try to scale this like so so that we have one one side only okay something like this maybe well yeah even more a little bit more and I think this will be enough okay okay so now once we have this one side like very very rough uh, draft of the model then we're going to apply symmetry uh, and to apply symmetry you simply click on this button here and it's asking you to 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 show him what is the symmetry axis and once you see the the green line that means that the symmetry is working so now I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to continue working on this and change the control points uh, once once I get the desired look 
uh, you will you will you will see the the process and I'm going to speed this video now so that uh, I don't waste your time Okay, so let's say that this is uh, like I'm quite happy with with how it turned out. So um, now let's uh, let's uh, change the the materials. I will show you how to divide the surface and then uh, be able to uh, apply different uh, inner material and then uh, different material on the outside. So first, let's convert the geometry to uh, Rhino. Once the geometry is converted, then we can, uh, let's see, let's inspect it a little bit. So uh, we can see that the division of the surfaces here is quite good for the material. So this top part will be able to, uh, will, will be able to apply material nicely. And then on this edge, I think also will work. Uh, however, we'll have to to change uh, to add some lines here to be so that we can divide the, the surfaces. So let's use the command uh, extract iso curves, iso curve. Then we just select, for example, this uh, this one surface, and then press T for toggle, different direction. And now let's say that we want add it here this is enough then let's move to the other surface T and the other like so and one more all right and let's see okay so now uh now we can actually uh start the division of surfaces so first thing i want to do is i want to extract the surface so i'm going to type extract surface i'm going to select all these surfaces here 
and extract them. And now I'm going to split them. Then select cutting objects. So first I'm gonna just add all these lines as one line. I'm gonna join it so that I have better control. Let's go to split. So now I have these surfaces separate and I will use these surfaces for my inner material. And I can just, for now, I can just, um, yeah, maybe, yeah, this is enough. I was thinking to include this edge, but I don't think it will fit nice. So let's just go with these, these five, we can join them. And now we have uh, two divisions. We have the black area for the middle and the brown area. So I'll render this now and then show you how the final render looks like. Here is the final rendering, hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share. And make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.